Welcome to another episode of Slowing Time. I'm Jim Tierney, and I am back with my Edgartronic high-speed video camera. And we are going to film some interesting things. In this episode, we're going to be filming sparklers. And these are fancy sparklers. They're, uh, you know, they shoot sparks straight out, which are very cool, especially with the way the smoke swirls around it and the paper burns off. So all of this stuff looks great at 1100 or 1200 frames a second. But what's really cool is what happens when you put them into water. Now, our original plan was to light these on fire, have it shoot out sparks, film all that stuff, and then to put them out, put them into a bucket of water. And we did that, and instead of what we thought was going to happen, we got awesomeness. And we're going to show you that awesomeness. So come on and join us. We're going to light some things on fire, slow time down, and see what happens. All right, let's talk about sparklers. You can see our sparkler has started to burn. At this point, it really hasn't hit the fuel yet. Once it does, like now, it's gonna start shooting off the metal particles that make up the sparks, which is really cool. But what I really find interesting and beautiful is the smoke that swirls around from the burning paper and the fuel. And we're gonna come back to the smoke in just a bit. But right now, let's see what happens when we put the sparkler in water. When it's above the water, the sparks and smoke bounce off the water surface, creating some amazing reflections. However, as we put the sparkler underwater, it keeps burning. It's amazing. So this is due to the oxidizers mixed into the sparkler so that it doesn't actually need oxygen to burn. It creates little explosions that produce these bubbles and the bubbles trap the smoke inside. Once the bubbles get to the surface, they combine with each other and eventually pop, creating these beautiful explosions of smoke. Like most kids, sparklers were the first fireworks I got to use. I remember being fascinated to see the fireworks up close as if I could hold the explosion in my hand. It really triggers that sense of wonder and curiosity. How is this even possible? I can spew fire everywhere. It's pretty cool if you're six or seven. And I thought it was one of the most amazing things ever and I've been fascinated by fireworks ever since. So filming this gave me the same sense of wonder and curiosity. We can look at this closer and slower than ever. This was shot at 1255 frames per second and we can really see the metal particles bouncing around inside the bubbles and when they stop burning they start smoking and that's where the smoke is coming from that's trapped inside these bubbles. The bubbles float to the water surface and combine together and eventually pop creating those beautiful smoke explosions. All right, let's get back to the sparkler itself, the fire and the smoke. You can see the sparkler falling apart here, producing some really interesting smoke patterns, which I think are really beautiful. For those of you that do motion graphics, this is the type of stuff that we try and recreate with particle systems and fractal noise and all these interesting cool filters. And that's always great, but somehow it always falls a little bit short of the real thing. You know, there's just so much beauty in the natural world. Okay, well, maybe a burning stick that shoots off metal bits isn't exactly natural, but you kind of get the idea. And it should be pointed out that this is dangerous. Sparklers are dangerous. They are burning at about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit and can do some serious damage. So beware of the sparkler. However, it is cool and looks great at 1,255 frames per second. So that's it for this episode. Thanks to Edgar Trotic for loaning us the high-speed video camera. We also use Digital Anarchy's Flicker Free plugin to remove the flicker that can be caused by electric lights and filming at high speed. It's a pretty common problem and Flicker Free does a great job of removing it. You can see an example of the before and after here. So hopefully you've enjoyed all the fire and smoke. Thanks for joining me, and we will see you in the next episode of Slowing Time.